Now we're going into the second semifinal. Number two, Pooh versus number three, Nicholas. Very interesting match. Let's talk about this draft, though, Topa. Yeah, uh, Nicholas, as we saw in the player pro profile, has been picking Sonia as his most picked monster. <laughs> so we might be seeing more of that aggressive style of play here. But we see the pre-ban on the Laura and the Cigar. We didn't we didn't see a Cigar in the first set, did we? We did not, which was surprising. We saw a Chunk Bung, but I think they've studied each other very well because we have a Chandra Cigar player on the left side and a Laura uh, Chandra player on the other side. So stealing each other's units and now the Vela Jewel appearing once again tonight and the Twin Angels. The water ones. Why, why, why is that unit so interesting, Topa? That unit, you know, it does a little bit of everything, right? And uh, especially mm -hmm. when you don't have that Chandra, as you mentioned, you know, both of these players really do favor that Chandra, that speed lead, and, uh, you know, I guess a water unit, some bruiser. Uh, but in a lot of cases, when the Chandra gets stolen, we see players respond with that water twin angel. It also has a 24% speed lead and has some uh, interesting mechanics, you know, being able to uh, boost up units mm -hmm. and uh, set up, you know, defense break after a buff removal, possibly into one shot, or just to, you know, mm -hmm. use that skill one boost on the Bella Jewel to get your whole team immunity and the whole team to move. So it has a lot of versatility and a very, very uh, fun unit to watch and to play with for sure. Very good point. That's Ramael and Jadaya for you. And now on the other side, a unit that has fallen off the mat a little bit, you know, still very strong, but not a first pick material. Gapsu appearing against the comp because you know when you deal with healing then it suddenly becomes really powerful the question right now is why do you think who is opting to pick that fire unit against at the bottom against you know in, into double water right now yeah fire bayek and bing mm -hmm. boom yung <laughs> <laughs> getting getting picked here. This is some wild drafting coming out of Pooh, you know. Not very meta monsters here. But that Fire Bayek, I actually have my eye on that unit myself. I don't have enough skill ups mm -hmm. for it, unfortunately, to be able to use it myself. And I'm hesitant on Delmoning it, you know, since it does have those four star counterparts. But uh, it has a very low cooldown on that skill three. And mm -hmm. also, had, which, you know, for those of you that don't know at home, the skill three is on a three turn cooldown. It heals you as well as the lowest ally. Cleanses all the debuffs, hits, I believe, six times, and has a 50% chance of defense break on each hit. So he actually does a lot, and also can deal quite a bit of damage. But, uh, yeah, so it's going to be definitely interesting to see here. See the bans on the Leo, you know, Nicholas picking his, mm -hmm. his Sonia, and also a Spicer getting banned out here. Yeah, I really like the Smicer ban. I think the other ban was very clear. And now turn one is for the Sonya. Can she remove someone? Is the Chandra gone? No, sir. Ooh. Very tanky Chandra and takes the 34k to the face, Topa. Yeah, Pooh definitely came prepared here. You know, he saw Nicholas had that Sonya as the most picked unit. And he probably mm -hmm. put some minus wind on, you know, that mm -hmm. Chandra. Maybe his whole team here. But that Chandra is still quite low. But Josephine's not able to take it out. Actually, it might, might be a slight misplay by Nicholas here, not using Josephine's mm -hmm. skill one. Josephine's skill one always crits, just like the Beast Monk skill ones. So if a crit there on the defense break, might that be enough to take out that Chandra Seppi? I agree with you. I think he got a little bit, you know, lost the attention. He focused too much on getting that provoke and didn't guarantee the kill. And now the Chandra, it's like it didn't even take damage. It's at 75% health. It's going to be really hard to come back from this with only the damage. He needs to land the death break, continues to target the Chandra, but doesn't get it since the fire unit landing it on the water one's a little bit harder. Yeah, you know, we obviously see that fire by X skill three coming through here with that massive healing. Uh, and both the Dokubi Lords actually healed up the, the Chandra as well. So he is looking very, very lively. And at this point, there's not a whole lot of damage on the side of Nicholas after Sonya got removed. It's going to be an uphill battle for him here, Seppi. Yeah, he's going to need some bio procs to get back in this match, especially from this Vela, because the Vela is controlled right now. The silence is on top of him. And he's going to keep now hitting the slows from the Chandra. So oppressive, guaranteeing that you get more turns. You cycle around your opponent a little bit more. And very interesting conflict by Pooh, right? Like a lot of healing, a lot of tankiness to withstand the amount of you know, stuns, control that is coming in from the other side. Absolutely, yeah. Pooh definitely did his homework here against Nicholas, you know. Again, so that Sonya being the most 
most picked hmm. unit by Nicholas here, having that Leo, making it be a force ban, and then picking four hmm. units that Estonia is probably not going to be able to kill, right? <laughs> All these units have probably 50,000 hit points, and Estonia is just not going to be able to do that much damage. That's a very, very clear point from you, Topa. I think that that's a good class for people at home, you know, on how to counter Sonya. You don't need to pick all the five units to counter her, but in this case, knowing that it was a very likely unit that your opponent was gonna pick, he prepared super well and now continuing with the damage. And the interesting thing about these units is that not only they're super tanky, but they are also consistent damage dealers, right? Absolutely, Seppi. All of these units, uh, you know, do some crazy damage. Uh, all of them actually have that max HP scaling, right? You know, they're building 50,000 mm -hmm. HP, and that max HP scaling comes in clutch. <laughs> Especially does with this. Does right now? Oh, yeah, with this, uh, now he does get the provoke. Yeah, especially with? With uh, Byungjul, you know, always critting, and there we see the Fire Bay skill 3 with that defense break, and Bella Jewel is gone. Wow. Yeah, this Fire Bake showcase is incredible. Even with the stuns from the Water Twin Angels, the Chandra was death broken a couple of times, brought low, but not enough to take him out. Uh, what do you think needs to happen for Nicholas in game number two? Because game number one was total domination from two. Yeah, Nicholas definitely needs to reassess his draft. You know, that Sonia, as much of a crutch pick as it might be, May not may not be the pick against Pooh. Uh He might need some sort of a maybe something like a bird hile, getting a uh, more turn cycling, more crowd control. Because right now you are fighting uh, essentially Bruiser with Bruiser, but then you have a Sonia. Sonia not able to kill anything, then gets removed off the field, and you just slowly but surely kind of lose that four v three Bruiser fight there on, inside of Nicholas. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and it feels like a statement game, right? A lot of preparation, knowing how to play against your opponent's comfort picks. And now let's see if adapting on one side kind of pushes the other side to adapt as well. But we also know that Pooh is a player that loves to play that extremely meta comp of the Chandra together with the Cigar, and he didn't get the Cigar game one. Let's see if the pre-ban on game number two goes to the Chandra, or if he gets to play, pick those two units together. Absolutely. Yeah. Something to note here in the game two is also that Laura was pre-banned in the first game, so that is going to be available for Nicholas, and that is definitely going to help in the side of, uh, you know, turn cycling, uh, CC, again, that speed buff, those stuns and slows from the skill two. So uh, we might see a completely different draft here in game two. It'll be interesting to see here, Seppi. Very good point. And Nicholas also has that Volantis, right? Let's see if by getting the Laura or the Volantis in. I know that, interestingly enough, he has another um, kind of snipe unit. We've seen him bring in the Sonya, but he also has an Oberon that maybe, you know, may come out or not. The pre bends of game number two coming out. Yeah, we may or may not be seeing that Oberon, but after that last match, you've definitely got to be wary <laughs> that Pooh has a lot of units with a lot of HP, so even an Oberon might not be enough to take any of them out. But the players are really taking their time here on the pre-ban. It finally comes out to that Sony are getting pre-ban now. Interesting. Right? Interesting, and I agree with you. A lot of thick boys on Pooh's side. Let's see if pick number one goes to that Chandra, to Sagar or someone else, it is the Chandra, my friend. It means he's going to go comfort. Absolutely, yeah. Getting that Chandra first pick in. This is Nicholas's comfort zone. Not having the Sonya now, though. So Pooh might be going into a little bit more of a speedier fight, possibly. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, probably not looking to just go super tanky here this time. But response with that Sagar and Bella Jewel. Very, very common meta response these days. Yeah. I really like that he did that as well, just taking those units away from Nicholas. But we know that the Nicholas loves the Laura. Let's see if she comes out together with this Smicer. No, he goes for the Holy Trinity of Elements and gets, interestingly enough, a Verd, great counter against the Cigar, and then a Smicer into a Vela. What do you think of that, Topa? Yeah, you know, right now the Vela Jewel is a pretty, pretty solid counter against that Smicer, and there are still picks to come out. You know, with Tian Lang right into the Vertihal. I, I was going to say, I like the Vertihal pick, but yeah, there's the Tian Lang just coming out and kind of shutting that down. 
Nicholas now responding with a Volantis, as you mentioned. You know that we might be seeing that coming out. Yeah, I really like the Volantis pick. He needs to be careful with a Juno hitting the floor on the other side, so maybe he wants to pick it. She's kind of strong against a couple of units, and having, you know, a secondary AoE strip wouldn't be bad, but maybe he wants a little bit more damage and ops. Oh, no, nope, ops for the Juno. Maybe he's listening to the stream, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that could be the case, you know. Listen to White Steppy <laughs> here and his advice. But uh, Nicholas's team might be a little bit low on damage, right? You know, you do you do take the Juno mm -hmm. away, so that's one of the counters that you take away. But something like a Baramos or even a Tetra <laughs> might just be able to, you know, oh. cleanse all those bombs, cleanse all the dots off of the land, the slows from Chandra. And uh, if the Vertihel gets banned out, that's a lot of, you know, your engine gone. And even a even Nicky has that, right, you know, with the cleanse. I agree. No, I, I agree with you. I think that the Veramos would have been more fun, to be honest, and even better than the Nikki here. And then you bend the Vero. I love that strategy, Topa. Let's see if right now he still sees the Vertihill as the biggest problem in the comp, or he gets rid of the Smicer. He does go for the Smicer and has to bend the Tian Lang on the other side, but the Vela Jewel gets through, my friend. Yeah. I'm Quite surprised that the Vertihel didn't take the ban here, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. After that Juno gets picked in the last lot, I think as Pooh, you know that your Tian Lang is gone. But it's a swift Vertihel, mm -hmm. you're taking first turn. Very, very fast. Can he get the strips? He does get it on the most important unit. Now, interestingly enough, the Chandra is faster than the Juno, but you know what? That can work as well. The biggest problem is that he needs to stun this Villagel. He can't use skill two right now. He needs to be super careful. Absolutely, yeah. Valantis, you know, does get the strips or even missing on the fire back there, but not getting Single many, pressure. not actually getting any provokes, just does get one stun on the Nikki. But that means that this Vela Jewel is going to be able to get immunity up here and boost up the team. And now with the violent proc, this Bayek may be doing a lot of damage to this bird of health. Oh my god, can we see? Is he gonna get rid of it? Yes, sir! That bird of hell is done! You know, I take it back. Who knew exactly what he was doing and why he was leading that bird hell? <laughs> I mean, is the bird hell even in the game? Like, wow. <laughs> that is the classic post ban, Topa. It's like, I don't need to ban this monster because I'm going to kill him quickly. Beautiful control coming out right now. And I'm just impressed with how oppressive this bike has been in these two matches. What an interesting unit. Did you expect it all see it tonight? Uh, I didn't expect to see him tonight, but I am also not surprised to see him here tonight. Mm -hmm. You know, he is, uh, he is quite a strong monster in this Bruiser meta. And uh, definitely a unit that I think more people should be looking into, looking into drafting here. Oh, they will be after this Legend Tournament. Now even I will be checking my box to see if I can pull something. Uh, the Death Break comes in from the Vela Jewel, even with some stuns, damage coming out from the other side. It's going to be so hard to get through this team because there's so much sustain still on the side of Pooh, right? Yes, definitely. You know, uh, that Bayek also has a silence on that skill too. We saw that silence landing on the Valantis, and Valantis uh, still stuck in that bear form, not able to use that skill too for those dots, and now going to go down here. And uh, this is, unfortunately for Nicholas, going to be over. Yeah, the Juno tries to keep hitting this Vela, but it's not enough. The Death Break even hits on the water unit. The Bake once again, one, two, three, four, five, six? Six hits? Is that how many? I believe it is six. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it's I need a to... lot of hits. I'll tell yeah. you that. <laughs> a lot of hits. Almost take. What's that Juno full HP? Because man, wow. man, just got deleted. And who taking a convincing 2-0 victory over Nicholas here?